Hey guys, how's it going? Stellar Stare here. It's been like, I don't know, two or three weeks. I've uh, been doing a lot, man. I got a lot of updates for you guys. I went to put out a video last week and I just, I didn't love what I was doing in the video, so I couldn't put it out, but I'm going to keep some of the clips that are recorded. For instance, how I got all this sick diamond armor and uh, even this sword that I call Blitzkrieg, so I'll go ahead and include that. Um, what I've been doing... Other than that, you know, I've been doing the same old thing here at Rucker. I've been kind of waiting to start flight school, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. In the meantime, I went on holiday block leave, Christmas leave, whatever you want to call it. I uh, came back, just got back from a wedding with the family in Orlando. That was a lot of fun. Checked out Disney, all that good stuff. But the biggest news that you guys are going to be interested in is I went ahead and I upped graded my setup by a lot man like I'm talking got two monitors now a nice curved uh, 27 inch Samsung gaming monitor 144 Hertz that kind of thing when I had rebuilt the computer into a new case same components but into a new case went with thermal talkie uh, I freaking love it so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a montage in a second actually we can just go ahead and cut scene there right now so see you guys in a second <laughs> Turn your back, you're a broken man They come around and just die and just shake your head I don't expect you to understand Just keep telling yourself there's no shame They don't know about who we are They don't know about you and I They ain't all blind by the stars of your eyes Oh, hot blood, love is gonna get you All right, so obviously you're back. Let me know what you think about the new setup in the comments. Went ahead and upgraded my mouse mat, things like that. Got some LEDs around the desk. You saw it all. Uh, really, really happy with the way it turned out, man. I freaking love it. I really do. Um, just great stuff all around. So I, I like the new setup. I'm excited to be recording. I really went with it because I'm ready to stream, man. I'm ready to get into that. So talking about that. I uh, went ahead and ditched the World of Warcraft subscription, just wasn't really feeling it, was having fun kind of on my own, but it's more of just a grindy game, I, you know, I didn't think I could get that great of content for it, but this one's for you, Dom, you're about to get two shoutouts this episode, I re-up, excuse me, my subscription to Wizard101, oh my gosh, yeah, isn't that game for like 12 year olds? Well, I'm playing it, so I'll be streaming that, because that's definitely a game that I want to stream, but some other things that uh, we're going to get going on and why I said Dom's going to get two shout outs is um, whew, 360 parkour. Am I right? That was totally worth the damage. Um, Dom sent me this uh, picture, kind of sent it to the group, but really for me. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on the screen now. It's a uh, pretty cool um, like guide on how to build some, some neat houses with ro roofs. Um, roofs, how do you say that? Roofs, roofs, roofs. Uh, Flock of Moosin. If you guys know Brian Regan, that's a little cut to him. Um, anyways, and I think that's what I'm going to build, like the houses inside this castle. I'm going to try each of those different um, building styles. So that'll be coming in the episodes. I'll go ahead and link a picture, link the picture in the description to that little guide there. So if you want to try out some of those houses, you definitely can. Um, some of the other things we worked on in the last episode that I didn't get to put out because I just didn't like it, we got started on this fishing hut that I'm definitely not going to finish this episode because I have no idea where to go with it. But we tried a new, uh, speaking of roofs, tried a new roof on this one. Um, went with the typical kind of A-frame that I've been using. Well, it's not really an A-frame. I call it that, though. Um, thanks to our new guide, we know that it's not. But it's like a droopy one, you know what I mean? It kind of comes out here, and then, um, yeah, I really like it. So I think it's way too big to be a fishing hut, like way too big. But we'll see where that goes. So, anyways, what we're going to do on this episode is extend this wall out this way and uh, maybe get started on terraforming some of this up here and maybe even build one of the houses while wow, the game is freezing a lot hope I don't crash be back in a second so to go ahead and extend this wall out I think I'm gonna need to terraform um, this whole area because I've decided that I don't really want the height of the walls to change I know that sounds like ridiculous because wow this freaking diamond shovel is gonna break very soon and I want to keep it so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that I don't really want the height of the walls to change because I don't have a design for that and gosh that seems like 
painstaking, so yeah. Alright, so I've made some some progress. I went ahead and uh, finished the terraforming here. Uh, I've pushed it out this far, and then I'm going to start this 90 degree turn that way, just on the edge of the uh, fishing hut thing to be determined there. I'm going to have to connect this wall somehow. Don't know how. I'm going to do that yet, but I will. And then I'm going to do one more level to this and add a turret at the top, kind of like that one, so it's a bit of like a smaller version there. And then, yeah, that's that's kind of the plan right now. All right, so I've decided what's going to kind of drive the rest of this design is connecting it to the wall here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the wall, and we're going to see where we're at. All right, so actually a little bit more difficult than it looks to uh, to get this like connected and looking normal. Um, or looking symmetric. I don't know what you want to go symmetrical, maybe. Um, but I think we've kind of done it, so we're going to keep building up. Um... And hopefully finish this tower, and then that's actually going to be great, because that'll be, like, the overall design for basically the walls and the, the turrets, and there's really not anything else that I have to design, just repeat. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this turret, and uh, hopefully it looks okay, but I definitely like the style of the build that we have so far. I think it's matching up, and uh, we're doing okay. So I know that this is, like, unimpressive to you guys, because... Well, it just is, but uh, it's taking me forever, so uh, anyways, I think it's coming together pretty good. I've got the second story started there, got some windows in. Um, I'm okay with the way I've, I've built this like ladder to get up there. Um, I think it's alright. It's not the best, but it's it works, and the only other option I think was to just close this off and not have it accessible from this bottom layer, but I don't really like that because if I want to get in quickly, then to go all the way over there and then come this way would be kind of annoying. So, that's how I'm going to leave it for now. This is just what I'm doing with the windows here on this side, and then I'm going to have these two as open doorways, uh, as we'd expect, and uh, then I'll build the turret on top, and we should be done with this side of the wall. Hi, Riley. Hi, Pop. Oh my goodness. Give me kisses. <laughs> You coming to hang out? You guest starring today? I don't even know if they can see you. Good girl. Alright, go play. Go play. Go play. No, not with me. Ran a little short on uh, glowstone, so picking some of that up right now in the nether. And you know what's really interesting that I just noticed? The enchantment, I'm pretty sure anyways, it doesn't uh, speed up the mining of glowstone. That's kind of crazy. Anybody know what the reason for that is? Kind of dumb, I should really be using my Fortune 3 pickaxe. Look at how weird this is. I roll up in my house, I put my pork to start cooking, and all of a sudden I'm like, what What house am I in? There's no chests, but they're just like invisible. I guess uh, it's just a glitch, I don't know, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. Alright guys, so uh, we finished, we're done. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. This took a lot longer than I expected, and I think next episode I'd like to start building one of the houses right back in the corner here and kind of starting that. So that'll be next episode, but let me show you how it turned out. So I really do like the aesthetic here. I mean, I think I think it's actually pretty sick. Uh, the smaller tower, I almost like it better than the, uh, the larger tower. The larger tower I think is better for like the gate tower, which is what it is, so it's okay. But I really like the turret on this tower. I think it came out really nice. And uh, just very aesthetically pleasing. So, I went ahead and finished that. I put in glowstone all around the outer perimeter of the buildings. And then even on the inside. So this is what the interior looks like. This is just uh, the interior walkway. This is the inside of this building here. Got glowstone for some lighting. This is the second level. I went ahead and put these trap doors here. I might remove them since they kind of give you that little bump. And it doesn't look that bad with them off. Um, for the walkway up top here, I put torches on the uh, logs so that it would light it up at night, but pretty good little view there, not bad. And then we come up top to the top of the turret, and uh, oh man, I need to put one more glowstone there, okay, so I'm not totally done, but that's alright. And then yeah, this is the, uh, the top of the turret here, so I like this a lot too, nice view here, finish up, you can look out this way. Yeah, I like it a lot. So uh, this is what it is. Let me know what you think of the turret design and how it came out. Before I cut the episode, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a uh, nighttime view of what it looks like 
all lit up at night because I actually like it quite a bit. So this is the other side here. And then I'll just continue the wall on this way. And we'll build the house somewhere likely in here. Uh, yeah, and then we'll, you know, start maybe working on that side there. So that's what it came out to look like. Let me know what you think's going on with Castle Siege and how you're liking it. But uh, I think it's coming out pretty good, and, and it is slow progress, but we've got quite a few projects going on at once, so I think we're doing all right. So, uh, yeah, guys, enjoy the view at night, and uh, it's been Sterling there. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff. Oh, my gosh, and Riley's here to sign you guys out. Come here, pup. Good girl. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> all right, so this is the nighttime view, guys. I, uh, I think it looks pretty sick at night, pretty lit up. So, uh, yeah. There it is.